Blessed be the name of the Lord. We just wanted to be praised. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. There's no one like you. No one can be beside you, Lord Jesus. No one can do the things you do. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, mighty God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. For our Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord, we come to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We soak our spirit, so boy, in the blood of Jesus. For our Lord, come down, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord. Move in your power, move in your way, in the name of Jesus. Heal, deliver, save, our Lord, in the name of Jesus. My right, tidy, no upon from against us shall prosper, and every turn that rise up against us in judgment. For our ask, Lord Jesus, condemn, let them be condemned, in the name of Jesus. Move to natural logics. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Open our eyes to the truth, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For I will bless your holy name, O Lord Jesus. Glory to the Lord. I will shake off every wickedness. I will shake off every contention, O Lord Jesus. Give us peace. Speak to our body, Lord. Move, O Lord Jesus, in your way. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you. Yes. 
Oh, 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 oh. 
Jesus, you welcome again, my brothers and sisters, tonight as we gather in one accord, hallelujah, to hallelujah for this very service. And I pray the Lord will come down His mighty power, touch, heal, deliver, and set, set, set us free in the name of God from every wickedness of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, before we start, let us let us soak our spirits and body in the blood of Jesus. Everything that concerns on the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, every tongue rise up against you in judgment. In the name of we decree and decree that they are condemned by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will not succeed in their evil, in their wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over our spirit, and body, the blood of Jesus over our lives, oh Lord, everything that concerns us, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, my spirit, so embody the blood of Jesus, the mind, the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, arise, oh Lord Jesus, then your enemies scatter. In the name of Jesus, Rata Yedebo Shedeba, Rata Kedeba, Rata Ria, Masanidemo Roko Pereba, Jadegabas dea, Raka Rebo, Solo Shedebas dea, Nana Masanidemo Roko Pereba, Ria, Ramin and Noah Pong from against us, Apostle, every turn arise up against us in judgment to the green in the name of their condemned. Tonight, Lord Jesus, move in your power, move in your strength, move, oh Lord Jesus, touch, oh Lord, heal, deliver, set us free, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Mara Kai Reba Rata in the boy there. Nene Massa in the boy Roku Boy Reba. Nana Massa after you go through your world tonight, O Lord. Speak to our heart, O Lord Jesus. Reveal to us, O Lord, deep secret, deep things, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your word, O Lord Jesus, Mara Kara be like two edged sword. Pierce in the name of Jesus, Mara Kai Reba in the name of deliver. In the name of Jesus, free. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, King of Kings. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, for the things you've done. Thank you for the things you still do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Let your word, O Lord Jesus, come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And pray to our heart and do the works. Hallelujah. The thing that you are designing to do in our life tonight. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Man sandi rebo roku po iriba jiriya. Nene man sandi rebo roku po iriba sharagabaya. Nene man sandi rebo roku po iriba. Blessed be your name. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you Lord Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we're going to continue Bible reading. I think tonight is the last, last for for now for this session. We are the last, um, the last verse for the last chapter for Book of Nehemiah. Hallelujah. Is it the last? No, I think it should be the second to the last. Let me see. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Raka pai de boho idea. Didi de boho idea. Nana masaya. Yeah. He finished the uh, book, uh, 13 chapters. Yeah, 13 chapters. Yeah, to finish in the morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, you know, we're going to go straight now to the book of um, Nehemiah, and after that, we continue our book of Revelation. Book of Revelation in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will come down in a mighty way, touch us, heal us, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Let His word in the name of Jesus do what He only can do in their lives in the name of Jesus. Let every manipulation and every lies and every program from Peter fell against our lives, every manipulation in the name of Jesus. We shatter them all by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of the Father, move in a mighty way. Touch us, O Lord Jesus. Let there be healing, let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 12, from verse 1 to end. Nehemiah chapter 12, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 12 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Amen. But I open our eyes of understanding. Touch us, heal Lord, deliver us, O Lord. Do what only you can do in our lives, that after all, your name alone will be glorified. Let every congregation of wickedness, every activities from Peter fell against our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, defend yourself, and fight for your children in the name of Jesus. And your name alone will glorify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go. Chapter 12. These are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Zariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malak, Hadash, Jeconiah, Reah, Merimoth, Ido, Ganethoi, Abijah, Mijaman, Maadiah, Bilka, Shumea, Joyarib, Judea, Salu, Amok, Okaya, Judea. These were the chiefs of the priests and of their brothers in the days of Jeshua. And the Levites, Jeshua, Benui, Cadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Madaniah, who with his brothers was in charge of the songs of thanksgiving. And Bagbakiah and Unai and their brothers stood opposite them in the service. And Jeshua was the father of Joachim, Joachim the father of Eliashib, Eliashib the father of Joida, Joida the father of Jonathan, and Jonathan the father of Jadua. And in the days of Joachim were priests, heads of fathers' houses, of Sariah, Mareah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Molokai, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Moriah, Helkai, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ganathan, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Minyamin, of Moadiah, Hiltai, of Bilga, Shemua, of Shemea, Jehonathan, of Joyarib, Matani, of Judea, Uzai, of Salai, Kalai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Judea, Nathanael. In the days of Eliashib, Joida, Johanan, and Jadua, the Levites were recorded as heads of fathers' houses, 
so too were the priests in the reign of Darius the Persian. As for the sons of Levi, their heads of fathers' houses were written in the book of the Chronicles, until the days of Johanan the son of Eliashib, and the chiefs of the Levites, Ashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua the son of Cadmiel, with their brothers who stood opposite them, to praise and to give thanks, according to the commandment of David the man of God, watch by watch. Madaniah, Bakbakiah, Obadiah, Meshullam, Talmon, and Akab were gatekeepers standing guard at the storehouses of the gates. These were in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah, the governor, and of Ezra, the priest and scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, with thanksgivings, and with singing, with cymbals, harps, and lyres. And the sons of the singers gathered together from the district surrounding Jerusalem, and from the villages of the Netophathites, also from Beth Gilgal, and from the region of Geba, and Asmaveth, for the singers had built for themselves villages around Jerusalem. And the priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I brought the leaders of Judah up onto the wall, and appointed two great choirs that gave thanks. One went to the south on the wall to the dung gate, and after them went Hoshea and half of the leaders of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Meshullam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, and Jeremiah, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, Zechariah the son of Jonathan, son of Shemaiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micaiah, son of Zachar, son of Asaph, and his relatives, Shemaiah, Azarel, Milalai, Gilalai, Mai, Nathanael, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of God. And Ezra the scribe went before them. At the fountain gate they went up straight before them by the stairs of the city of David, at the ascent of the wall, above the house of David, to the water gate on the east. The other choir of those who gave thanks went to the north, and I followed them with half of the people on the wall, above the tower of the ovens, to the broad wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, and by the gate of Jeshana, and by the fish gate, and the tower of Hananel, and the tower of the hundred, to the sheep gate. And they came to a halt at the gate of the guard. So both choirs of those who gave thanks stood in the house of God, and I and half of the officials with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maaseah, Minumin, Micaiah, Elioenai, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, and Maaseah, Shemaiah, Eleazar, Uzai, Jehohanan, Malchijah, Elam, and Ezer. And the singers sang with Jezrahiah as their leader. And they offered great sacrifices that day and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and children also rejoiced, and the joy of Jerusalem was heard far away. Hallelujah. On that day, men were appointed over the storerooms, the contributions, the first fruits, and the tithes to gather into them the portions required by the law for the priests and for the Levites according to the fields of the towns. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and the Levites who ministered. And they performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the command of David and his son Solomon. For long ago in the days of David and Asaph, there were directors of the singers, and there were songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel, and in the days of Nehemiah, gave the daily portions for the singers and the gatekeepers. And they set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the sons of Aaron. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord God of heaven for his great work in the life of his children and his great mercy. Hallelujah. You know, in this very scripture, starting from the book of uh, the chap the first chapter of the very wonderful book of the Amen, you can see Hallelujah. That God answers prayer. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. Hallelujah. It's always good to acknowledge Him in everything we do. Hallelujah. It may take time. It may take time. I can tell you, I can assure you this. That God is the greatest time saver in the whole wide world. God is the greatest time saver. 
when you put out from the way of God and, and think you can use the fetish way and then, you know, all this, you know, you call it shortcut to make money or to get something. You end up wasting your life. You end up wasting. When you, when you think that it's true witchcraft you can use to make it, it's true demonic care, you know, help you can use to make it, you end up wasting your life. End up wasting wasting your time. Seriously, the fastest way to make it in life is through the right way, holiness and righteousness. You place your hand to the right thing, right thing to do. When you see lies or the thing, you know, to you, know, you just get your hand off for wickedness. Get your hand from manipulation. Get your hand from lies. Be sincere. Be straight. Whatever we do today, we always come back against us tomorrow. Seriously. I, I, I can be here today, you think, okay, this guy doesn't have what I have. You know, I, I, I can use things to manipulate him, to do this, and to do. You are doing yourself. You are not doing me. You are doing yourself. Whatever seed you sow, you will reap. Whatever seed you sow in life, you will reap it. You know, as I begin to grow, you know, as I begin to get more mature, as my days getting to get older, as one year, yearly, as I'm getting older, I begin to understand deeply these things. God is not mock. Whatever you sow, you will reap. You can think, yes, I can, I can, I have, I have this in my power. I have a spiritual aspect of things to control things. I have the physical ones. I can command this. I can command it. I can start to use it and become the chief this or chief that or whatever and all that. It will not get to your brain. That even though Satan was the chief whatever controlling heaven, the second command. And all the people that follow him that foolishly followed him. Where are they today? They want to go back to heaven. Unfortunately, heaven is locked off from there for them. They can't see that heaven again. And now their portion will be forever. The place they don't want to be. Because of what? Lies. Pride. Pride. The God deliver us in the name of Jesus. You go open our eyes. You can think here, yeah, I have this, I can do this. This guy doesn't have spiritual power. Or oh, I can manipulate things and use things and, and get this and get that and put and, co and control and do this and connect this uh, spirit and connect that one. You need to disengage and do and manipulate things. And after that, you think God in heaven is not seeing the truth. God doesn't know what is happening. Thank God that this guy, Nehemiah, he stood up as a man and cried to God. And decided to count, he forgot about his position, about the gain, about the money, about his position. He forgot about all that. Let me go back to my father's house and rebuild. I can't stay and see things go the way it's going. In the process, after praying, God granted him favor in the sight of the king. He traveled and the person began to rebuild. In the process, the Lord began to touch the hearts of those who have been in the situation to rebuild the, the to rebuild the devastation. But unfortunately, they are not spiritual enough to really understand what is happening. But thank God for the awakening through that prayer that they may have prayed. Now, in this very, in this very uh, chapter twelve, we can see, uh, you know, imagine a, a place, a place. If you read the, the chapter one, you see how Bible said that the Maya cried, he wept when he heard how wickedly that enemy came to destroy the land of Israel and Judah, and they set everywhere on fire. 
he wept. He wept. Hallelujah. Then the priests are nowhere to be found. The leaders are nowhere to be found. The singers are nowhere to be found. Because everybody is running for their life. Everybody is afraid. They don't know what to do. Hallelujah. There's no war to be dedicated. The 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 the, the, the temples are totally in ruin. Everything totally in ruin. Hallelujah. There's no people to even want to work in this, in the in the in the temple of God as a servant. He took it as a burden. He went. Then after every ups and down, Satan brought to make sure that the work would not you know, continue. But the Lord strengthened him. He was able to rebuild the temple, rebuild, you know, put gates and people begin to do, you know, help in the process. They are in the place they are today. This chapter 12, he said he gathered the Levites and the priests. The priests and the Levites. The priests and the Levites. And after the priests and the Levites, he dedicated the wall of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. He said, at 27, he said, and at the dedication of the war of Jerusalem, they sought Levites in all the places to bring them towards to the to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, with thanksgiving, and with singing, cymbals, harp, leos, all these things were nowhere to be found before because everything was totally destroyed. From the place that is full with smoke and ashes. God using to bring back the glory that was destroyed. Hallelujah. Because he decided to, to follow the way of God. There couldn't be now, he now allow fear or, 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 or now change and, be, and, and want to begin to look at the gain and, 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 and begin to you know manipulate things now. Because you can see there's a prospect in this thing. People are people are now obeying. People are now following. People are now listening to him. They now want to convert it to his own selfish gain. Unfortunately, they will not be able to get this far. Everything will have been destroyed. There's always there's always massive reward to sincerity and integrity. The one we think you can manipulate things. Manipulate things. Because of the social welfare of the country, you, you will, people are doing some horrible things. Unfortunately, the system, the way the system is built, it's very difficult for the system to dictate some of the things. It just out of all the atrocities that is happening, in the social thing in the government, it just, just very little they can detect. The God, the God will help me. You have mercy in the name of Jesus. Very wicked. Just people are wicked, wicked. Wicked. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. The one someone is not following that way, the person will become enemy. Unfortunately, because the person has decided I'm not following this way to rob the nation, to rob the process, they will push you into try to gather everything against but the God in heaven. Stand firm. The Lord will always stand out there for you. No matter whatever the garden of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let you start because whatever we do today, it come back for, against us tomorrow. Seriously. If it said that if you're well, I'm going to lie that you're not well. I'm going to deprive those who actually need help. It will turn in your head in a, a letter, I, I mean at a letter end of your life. And sometimes you may not even get to the later end of your life. You begin to tell. Because there's no way you, you try. And it, the funny thing that if you know the truth and deny the truth and decide not to lie and, and in order to, because of your own selfishness and selfish gain and, 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 and the wickedness, it will turn around against you. Maybe Nehemiah did that. All these things he achieved wouldn't have been there. But as he was being faithful, following the pattern, the way the Lord wanted it to be, it look as it's very, very far. The enemy will start telling you, oh, it's very far. You know, you cannot. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to cheat. You need to be forced. 
in your in your in your, in your dealing so that you can be able to make it. But here the man the man said no. Hallelujah. Sometimes when people come to me for advice, I always tell them at least I have one or two people who I know in the in the system of this world, they are in the position to to manipulate to do everything to that, but they said no. They decided to follow the way. They came into the system, you know, the United Kingdom. They used the system to, to get themselves to defeat. The Immediately, they got they get out from the system. They can stand boldly and not start helping the country's economy. What in the in the labor war, in the labor department, in the labor, employing people, engaging people to work. But those who are so they say, unfortunately, they will not follow that way. If one is sick or whatever, that is understood. But a lot of people they don't want. It will pay you hugely well when you decide to stand for the truth and stand upright. It will pay you. You will enjoy, you will have peace. The way you start to follow the wrong way, you need to hide. You know, there's no peace. May God help us in the name of Jesus. God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. But when we now decide now to follow the lies, what you is getting, what you're going to get is what? All this trouble. And, and the most fun thing about the enemy, when you decide to follow that way, you start getting yourself into more deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper trouble. May God deliver us all in the name of Jesus. Always good to follow. Even though it may look as if, you know, that, um, what is his name? These are a great men of God. Abraham wasted a whole whatever in time. Then I see the peace that he was enjoying. When was only Sarah? It was huge. Then when Sarah decided to, you know, I mean, when Sarah now forced the, forced the, forced him to sleep with the, with the maid. In the process, wanting to start, you know, you know, um, get out from the path of God, I mean, the path, I mean, the will of God for his life. You can see the problem that that brought, and which became one of the basic and major problems we have today in the whole wide world. May God help us in the name of you. See, the truth will always set us free. The truth will always deliver our generations to come, our unborn children. The truth will always, you know, wait for us for the time we need those truths that we, that we have been standing on. The, but God will say that to you and I, we shall know the truth. The truth will set us free. The truth will set us free. And I pray in the name of Jesus, in every way we have sinned against the Lord, by allowing fear to rule us, by allowing fear to push us to begin to do what is not right. Now we will repent, O Lord Jesus. We repent, we repent in the name of Jesus. And we ask for our Lord, come, have, have mercy on us. Forgive us, o Lord. Forgive our brothers and sisters, our, our loved ones. Those who have gone in the wrong path, hallelujah. Father, have mercy, O Lord. Let your mercy deliver. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and I pray, Lord, just to open our eyes to begin to see the area that you have gone wrong, so we begin to turn how they are to the way of salvation to to your way. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help us or deliver us. We don't want to be destroyed by the enemies. In the name of Father, have mercy, Lord Jesus, have mercy on all of, all of us. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy, Lord, your mercy, Lord, prevail over every judgment of the enemy against their lives in the name of Jesus. And though that enemy has blinded their eyes, they, they keep going the wrong way. Unfortunately, they, are, they cannot see. They think he, they cannot still see. The Father Lord, please open their eyes in the name of Jesus. Because most time when we refuse to pray this kind of prayer to, to even our enemies, unfortunately, they, they will do some nasty things that will end up implementing implicating or that, will, that may end up you know causing problem to other innocent people other innocent soul 
just like when someone is highly greedy and, and when someone is 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 totally into and into falsehood greediness and love of money can make one to you know to put the life of even the life of the sick the life of 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 of, of their fellow human beings into danger greed greed the love of money they won't begin to pray this kind of prayer what this kind of prayer will do the law will make them to begin to see the truth then gradually they begin to you know come out from lies that may end up hurting them also in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen and amen you like you can see lies imagine now if you're placed in a place both in government or in in government or even in your own home a place of authority and it's supposed to use that place to affect you affect your generation then you begin to play some some games the money you will not use the money to do what you're supposed to use it to do and the, and the letter on it it, it affect you to affect you just like in africa now most of the countries they keep sending their their, their name in the government then the place where the money is there Instead of, instead of those money to be used to develop the country, instead of the money to be used to, to, to build infrastructures, instead of the money to be used to, to make sure that the road and the network, road network and everything is, is working well. But unfortunately, they, they, they will find a way to convert the money to be their own. Then now use that money, start sending. Imagine the numbers of the flight ticket to abroad. Then paying international whatever as a student for your children and all that to be in abroad. That money is more than enough. Man, you gather all those money and the one that you have. Imagine now you go to that country they call Nigeria. People they are discovering people who that pile billions, millions in bag. And those money have been there, they are rotting, useless now. And those money are the money that's supposed to be used to be build road, improve the hospitals. So hospitals are totally closed down because they cannot, they, nothing is working. Those are the things we are talking about. Then now, when they become very sick, what will they do? So then to be treated and be taken care of in their country, they will not fly them somewhere else. The God have mercy in the name of Jesus. And some of them probably before they know what is happening now, you know, things would have changed to the extent they may not be in the because most of the politic I mean most of the politicians, some of them are in a state they cannot even afford to travel. And now, then they still they need medical attention. What is going to happen? They're going to die in that sickness. But could it be they use that opportunity to develop and build infrastructure? They definitely will benefit. Because as Bible said, that the money that is getting, or the rich, or the wealth that is getting on just for the hard win, you always fly away. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Highly, or sometimes God will allow them to the kind of sickness you know, that doesn't that doesn't have any cure. Those are the thing that happens when we decide to compromise, when we decide to to allow lies and falsehood to take over our lives. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. That is the reason Bible says that if you see the unrighteous, those deceivers, the liars, prospering in their own ways, so don't jealous them. And the end is always oh, disastrous because what you sow you will reap what you sow you will reap what you sow you will reap hallelujah may god help us in the name of jesus we're going to move on to the next the, to the next scripture hallelujah may, the, may god of heaven help us in the name of jesus and let this fact and this truth hallelujah be written and uh, you know the lord use this 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 night message 
to open our eyes and help us to redirect our prayer points in the right perspectives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, we're going to continue our Bible reading the book of Revelation chapter 2 from verse 18 to 29. We are treating the church the, the, hallelujah, to the church of Tataria. Hallelujah. I see the love of Christ towards us as he decided to reveal this truth. Letting you know, you know, making us to, to understand the manipulation and the wickedness of the enemy. And how he had decided to, to make sure that he pushed you and me to, 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 to hell, fire. But the Lord had determined to deliver us. And that's the reason why imagine John went through all he went through in order to get hold of this truth. Get hold of this truth for you and me. Hallelujah. If you look at from the, the beginning and the end of this very wonderful book, Bible says that it's blessing attached to this book. That those who read, read this book shall be blessed. And I pray as you read them in your own in your at your own time, as you read it collectively or individually, let the spirit of God, the spirit of truth, open our eyes to the hidden truth in this very scripture in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because it's fully have to do what with the with this end time. The manipulation and the lies of the enemy. And the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. And shatter every wickedness that has been gathered against you, against our lives, against our spiritual life, against our spiritual sight, against our spiritual ears, against our spiritual tongue, our spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For I deliver your children, Lord, in Jesus' name. Insight, Lord, we pray tonight once again in Jesus' name. In from verse 18, Revelation chapter 2, 18, he said, To the church of, I mean, to the angels of the church in the terror, right? The word of the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and whose feet are like bones bronze. I know your works, your love and faith and service and patience, endurance, and that you are that your letter, that your letter works exceeds what the first. Hallelujah. Your faith. Your love, your service, your patience, your endurance. Here in this very, in this very, the, the church of the terrorists. Yeah, you know, when we give our life to Jesus Christ, it's the love of Christ that have come. You know, not like when when you discover a a, a lady or a man to marry, then now at the first time of relationship, the first love is always very strong that that draw two of you together. They begin to love yourself and begin to, you know, it never, it will never see fault. But here the Lord is telling us that these people, that they, they, their love for Christ did not remain at that beginning level. It grew. That means the intimacy is more. You need to understand, you need to fall more in love with, with the Lord. You know, like when you now get married to somebody, you don't know the some other you know his potentials or a lot of other things that he that he, that he, that, that, that that he knows or some a lot of deep things about the person then you just love the person because of you know just love the person the first the first love then as you begin to have relationship with that person you begin to describe oh this person is good in flute is good in this is good is is even a lawyer is even and um, this thing you start discovering more of some of those at, 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 attributes that you you really cherish to have in your man or your woman. Some of those kinds, I begin to find more things. In the process, your love for the person will become will grow higher. And 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 you know, and this kind of um, 
uh, and this kind of uh, you know, expression is is always is very rare most time because most time is the first love that always hold but now when the first love is now it's not even it's not even the level you you are now your love keep growing higher and higher and another relationship is bound to succeed and we should have chosen the right person and such kind of you know it's it, it's hard to come by it's hard to come by because people will love and then after a lot they start you know coming down start hiding this and hiding that and begin to fake and begin to you know i've gotten this man i've gotten this woman i can do anything whereas now he has a child or 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 or, or we are or, 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 or we are or we have investment together it cannot it's not going anywhere it's not doing anything now i can do anything my true color now can come out but here the lord is saying on oh, the true color that is coming out here it, 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 that that true color of deeper love but why we go still have something against this kind of people this set of people let's read and see it's quite serious, you know. And the thing God is pointing here is more than enough to take someone to hell fire. To disqualify all your work, all your sacrifices. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord is just exposing the serpentine power of the enemy. His manipulation. The way he lure people into sin. Is deception. May God help us in Jesus' name. That's what God is calling us. We should be very, very you know, careful with this end time. Satan is wicked. Satan is wicked. When I'm saying, when, I, when I'm expressing it this way, I'm talking about what the, some of the things I've experienced myself. May God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 20. Okay, next 19 again. He said, I know your works, your love and faith and service and patience, and that your your, your letter works is see the first. But I have something against you that you Tolerate that woman they call Jezebel. They tolerate that woman they call Jezebel. You know, Jezebel rule with deception lies. Is a rattlesnake. <laughs> Serpentine power. May God deliver us from every snake, every wicked spirit of marine snake that it has come against your life or that is already in you. You don't even know. May the Lord deliver us from every wicked snake in the name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver. John, let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every form of entanglement every form of spiritual entanglement and lies and deception in the name of you you the sword of the spirit will cut off every snake in the name of you we remove them it will cut off every snake that have tangled around our life around our lives in the name of your every wicked spirit the blood of jesus against you we cut you will destroy your works we destroy your works in the life of our loved ones in the life of our country in the name of jesus in our life in the name of Jesus, every deception, every lies, we come against you. In the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. It's a wicked spirit, and most of these wars that people go the first world war, war, second world war, war, and what is happening now is still embedded in this very wicked spirit. Because if the leaders those who are proved to go into this war, if they know the truth, they will not go into it. But the spirit of the lying spirit will turn them. And Satan will bring some people who have that kind of wicked spirit of, 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 of Jezebel kind of control. 
Can't you see what this person is doing? God, you know, what do you see? What are you doing here? You know, begin to let you to believe in, in the force. You, they may not even know that, you know, they are being deceived. In the process, they will drop into what? They're supposed not to even, you know, accept. Before the world is happening, it's too late to, to go, to, to turn back. And again, that spirit of Jezebel is so proud. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's already, you know, it cannot repent. It doesn't, not, not like humility. It love power. It love control. When this is not working uh, around around Jezebel's spirit, they, they always want to scatter everything. It's, instead of another person to take my position, let it scatter, let it uh, destroy it. They don't care. The consequences, if I want to die, let me die. Nobody will. That is Jezebel's spirit. And you don't even know that you're operating. But when you discover them, they become your enemy. They are ready to scatter everything. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every wicked serpentine power that they are released against your life, against your health, against your ministry, in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, O oh Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, with your sword and pierce that serpent head in the name of Jesus. Arise, Lord, and every serpent that power be shut up in the name of Jesus. We destroy in Jesus' name. In wicked spirit. Hallelujah. Say, but you have the, I have this against you. That you tolerated that woman, Jezebel, who called herself, you see, you call herself prophetess. That's the, the places they want, you always want to be in a place of where everybody will know them. A prophetess, a teacher. And how to lure people into sin. Try to deceive and hold that power. That is only their prophecy is genuine. Every other one, you know, it's not it's not pure. They are the only one who can teach. Every other person, nobody can teach like them. They are too much. May God help us in Jesus' name. So who called herself a prophetess? The call is it who called herself a prophetess? God have mercy. They called herself a prophetess. That's how the Bible put it. I'm not the one saying it. So he called herself a prophetess and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality indirectly. To them, they tell you, oh, to sleep together with, you know, it's not, they begin to, you know, look sexy, look sexy. It doesn't matter, I need to look attractive. And I cannot say I'm serving God, I'm looking like, a, I'm looking like, a, you know, this thing. You cover everywhere. Am I in bondage? Or look attractive, God gave it to you to front, front it. That is the glory of God that they are demonstrating. That is the glory of God. You can see it. Total manipulation lies from Peter fell. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus and open our eyes in this end time. We have seen that this spirit has really, you know, the church of Christ is, this spirit is holding church in the neck. Is strangulating the, the church of Christ, this spirit. Wicked spirit. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Deliver your church, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Daddy, you said, I will build my church and the gate of fear will not prevail. Every gate of Jezebel spirit in the church of Christ, every gate of Jezebel spirit on the genuine men and women of God that have been called. Father, arise, O oh Lord Jesus, in the name of you. Let the spirit of, of, of Jehu be ar arise and destroy and cut them off 
on the surface of this earth, if they refuse to repent, in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's wickedness, wicked spirits. Hallelujah. Yet the word of God said, you come to seduce my servants. You see, they always target the people that the Lord have anointed. The people have, God have called in this end time. Those who are carrying the unction, carrying the mandate of Christ. You, you always have come against them. They have destroyed the lot. They have destroyed so many. When they finish on this target, they move to another one. When they finish on this one, they move to another one. Look, look at their history. Look at their history. Look very well at their history. Before you appoint anybody in your ministry to begin to take charge of, look at their history very well. Look properly. Allow the Lord to tell you. The, every story that you're listening to. Look at the history very well. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because one said on them, hey, the enemy is positioning them against the against the servants. Against he said they are to, to seduce who to seduce they are to seduce what? Their target is 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 to is to water down the gospel. Now to weaken the people that God has anointed in this end time. If I begin to talk about the things I went through, I just I, I just I just pray God Himself to open the eyes of people to understand the wicked war we are. In this kind of spirit, you know like what happened last year that someone just went because because of an argument with his pal took a gun and killed the wife killed everybody in the house everybody died that's what the spirit does they don't like to be challenged when you challenge them or they you know what they what they know from there you become their strong enemy and if they have opportunity to kill you at that time you are gone the lord help my mercy in the name of you that is why when there is a divorce before you go back, make sure <laughs> you've done your study. If you're not spiritually strong, you are gone. Most of the divorces are related to this very spirit, Jezebel. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. All these are quite a deep, a revelational story. I'm releasing here. Most times, a lot of people will not really understand me. It's only those who are reading the Spirit of God can understand some things I will say here. Because you cannot really understand the Bible without the Spirit of God. A lame man is novice to the things of God. You may not really understand, you can still argue. And I pray when God open your eyes, you'll be able to understand better. In the name of Jesus. And I follow Lord Jesus, I pray by your mercy, O Lord, open the eyes of my brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus. Let them help them, O Lord Jesus, to put one and two things together. Including the thing they've been reading, the word of God, and the things that happen in their real life, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because sometimes when someone's spiritual eyes is not open, you will preach and preach and preach. You try to explain, they will never, they will never understand. This this thing we are doing is a gift from God. It's not, it's not mad. Hallelujah. When someone is teaching. With theology or basic or, 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 the, or the basic of the teaching is on the on the let me say on the on the religious study. It's totally different when you are teaching or when because as a Christian that is born again, your operation is supposed to be under the control and under the lead of the Holy Spirit. If not that, what you are doing is just basic. Basically, religious knowledge and religious study. A religious study cannot go deep into the spirit because you are, you are, you are just understanding it as, as per the, the history part of the Bible. 
you can understand it in that level. But that the, another level, which is the spirit of God, and that's the reason why Jesus Christ have to die and go. When Jesus Christ died and, and went to heaven, then the spirit of God came upon the twelve. They became totally transformed. Water baptism cannot do what the spirit of God did in their life. Them seeing what Christ has done and all those stuff, all the miracles and all those stuff, cannot actually, it's not, cannot do what the Holy Spirit of God, the revelation, the understanding of what they are into now, came when the Spirit, I mean, when the Spirit of God came upon them. And that the Spirit of God that had come in that, in that time of act of, I mean, at the upper room, is that very that very spirit that every Christian is supposed to be operating under, supposed to be working without him, unfortunately, there's a massive big question mark about your claims. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, we're going to finish very soon. Hallelujah. I'm very hallelujah. Well, I say I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go through that verse 20 again. He said, But I have this against you, that you tolerate that woman, Jezebel, who called herself a prophetess, and is teaching and seducing. They can see her as a prophetess. They can see her as a teacher. But they will not see her as, 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 as a seducer. They will not see her as how she's promoting immorality. They will not see her as 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 as, as she's polluting the food, sacrificing to the idol. They cannot see that with natural eyes. They want to be in a face of in, in the area of food and all that, but they cannot see it. Remember that even the apostles struggled a bit with all these things. But thank God that even Paul mentioned about food and all those stuff, food sacrifice to idols and all those stuff. But here the Lord was now a kind of letting people know that this thing that Paul had been crying about is real. Now Jesus Christ now came now to interfere. Now, that means the work of those the physical work you can see in Jezebel, listen, you can see them they prophesy, they want to show off in the teaching, in the governance of churches and all those stuff. But you don't know this area. The, the Lord Jesus Christ now telling us the one that we can see with our physical eyes and the one we cannot see. Polluting the food, seducing the servant, you know, pushing them to practice immor immoralities. Through demonic forces, controlling them, demonic, de hallelujah. Using demon to control them to do things they don't, they're not supposed to do. May God have, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Imagine with the level that Paul grew in knowing God. He said, The things I don't want to do, I see myself doing it. It's part of this. Probably some things he have eaten. But then when the spirit of God in him, something's going wrong here. Why with the level of me knowing God, why the things I don't want to do, I see myself doing it. Because he was able to identify this. In, fact, in all the scriptures, he's the only one who prayed that kind of prayer. He didn't know what to do. I see myself. That means his spiritual eyes was, was alive. It was... It was it was it was it was awake in the spirit. I was able to identify that death. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of Jesus. God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus that this wicked spirit, in the name of Jesus, all their entanglement and all their burning and all this evil spiritually and physically they've done in order to keep on holding that power. May the Lord God of Israel, in the name of Jesus, 
you know, remove, we remove those power from them in the name of Jesus. Because that power will continue to kill, to steal, to destroy, pulling down the great men and the women of God. We remove that power from them in the name of Jesus. That evil staff they are holding, arise, Lord Jesus, and deliver your children in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And these are the things that leads to the war that we are having today in the world. All the destruction and all this evil here and there, going here and there. These are the things that, that leads to it. They are operating everywhere, not only in the church. When you discover them, they become enemy. You get to have problem in that office. The only one you are a, is a Christian, you 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 are the Bible said we should read the word of God. When you acclimatize yourself and make the word of God your friend, you put you an edge over them. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, the Lord is not saying saying to us here. I gave her time. They go and say, I gave her time to repent. But she refused to repent. See, God is so merciful, so loving. He doesn't want anybody to perish, but all of us to come to repentance. He's so merciful. Then the spirit of Jezebel is full of pride. It's very, very difficult for a proud person to, to, you know, to bow. Pride. And again, when you know what you're doing, when you know the truth and decide to glue, to hold strong the, 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 the force, the lies, it's very, very difficult. May God help us in Jesus' name. See, I gave her time to repent, but she refused. God was extending his love. My daughter, please don't continue this way. You are destroying my servant, and you're going to destroy your own self. You are causing problem. Please don't, don't continue this way. Repent. So many times God is telling you today to, please repent. That way will not pay you. Repent. When you truly repent, God knows. You cannot deceive him in that area. Because this day there are a lot of Christians that Christ or you know because they know that probably if they're pastor or somebody who knows the evil they are they are into that person they can cry to them. They need to cry, oh please forgive me, please forgive me. But that that cry is to is to make the person to be weak, to weaken the person, to make sure that the person is now vulnerable so they can attack more. And if you are doing that, you are doing yourself. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That means if someone is crying for forgiveness, or probably you discover a Jezebel in your, in your, in your around you, and the Jezebel they have that that potential or that uh, whatever that uh, I don't have what the word now to put on to put on a, an attitude, you know. As if you are, as if as if you are the one who are who is in fault. You know, to put on that uh, sympathy. They know how to put on sympathy. Jezebel, Jezebel. When you discover them, they know how to put on sympathy. And they can use the sympathy to destroy you, if you are not careful. If you weak fellow, they use sympathy to destroy you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when, when, because when a snake is just rattling, just like doing that, you know, do, he know, he knows what he wants. And if you give him chance, you are not careful, he will give you dirty bites, and he's ready to kill you, to strangle you to death. When you give him room, and that's the reason. That is some a character of sympathy, trying to you know appear, you know, to be oh. That they are not, that are not, uh, they are not toxic. Let's be very, very careful in the name of Jesus. Even when you have raised meeting or permitting, return to this very attitude, and they refuse, still be very, very careful. 
or they didn't they say they have repented very very careful keep very close watch hallelujah or else you get yourself hurt may god devour us in the name of jesus amen and amen you say i gave her time to repent, that, that, to repent but she refused and to she refused to repent of her sexual immorality behold i will throw her into a sick bed hallelujah I will throw her into a sick bed, and those who commit adultery with her, I will throw into great tribulation, unless they repent of their works, and I will strike her children dead, and all the churches will know that I am he who searches mind and heart, and I will give and I will give to teach of you according to the work. So I will give each of you according to your works. But to the rest of you in Tetera who do not hold this teaching, who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan, to you I say, I do not lay on you any other burden. That means there's some teaching that people bring in the church. You need to watch carefully. Because there's some people who are just going to start you know, teaching about demons, some deep things about demons, deep things about Satan. And seven steps to identify Satan. Seven steps, those things are not really necessary. Let's go according to the Bible standard. So, because if the Lord is talking here, uh, those who have not known about the deep things of Satan, that means there was a teaching going on. The deep things of Satan. And when these people are operating in the church, that like these deep things of Satan, they will analyze it so much and, and show you the benefit in the deep things of Satan. And how we can bless, how we can protect some things, how they do these things. They will indirectly use the God's platform to begin to, you know, educate people into these things. Then after they will cover it up, oh, let's pray that this thing will not happen. But the information you have passed, you have given to them. You make people, those who are weak, you will begin to go into those things. Seventh book of Moses. That one, you know, giving them where they should buy it and all those kind of things. It's not necessary. They use indirectly. And when you give them, yeah, this is why the Bible have already said here, yeah, you need to check those who are your teachers. You need to check those who always prophesy in the church. Is their life correspond? How much do how, how, how liberal are they in that office they are holding? Because some that office is someone if you ask somebody else to take it or, or they're not in, they always want to every day, every time they are dying to hold that post. They don't want that post somebody else to be there. You don't go and leave. <laughs> God have mercy, in Jesus' name. But they don't want somebody to come and you know destroy the foundation they have been planting or they've been laying. May God have, have mercy in the name of Jesus. They don't know how to show love. They're so arrogant. You can argue and argue and argue and argue and argue. And when the argument is like exposing them, they became your strong enemy. You begin to wonder, what have you done? May God help me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every people like that in our churches, all those people who they have converted, because they always have their clique, they always have their gangs, they always have their group. May the Lord begin to scatter those groups. 
Because those groups are mean to be like the rebels in the house. Always meant to be like the rebel. And you discover that something that always go on. That rebel, including the leader, will be afraid of that rebel, that group. You will find it difficult to 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 dis, to disengage them, to scatter them. It takes someone who has the spirit of God, who is very bold, who is not who doesn't have you know self-centered you know next. to scatter such kind of rebels, their groups. And I pray that God will give our leaders, both politically and religious, wise, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to be able to handle these things because they cause a, very, they, they cause a lot of toxic, in the very toxic to, to our community, to our system. May God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And again, in the Christian setting, before you deal, deal with it, you need to go in on fasting and prayer. Because they have strong, bad network. They can use their network to scatter your ministry, scatter the church. Their network is, is a very, very dangerous thing to want to do if God has not called you. <laughs> you don't challenge them. You know, just like that. If God has not called you, Hallelujah. You need to be very, very careful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You pray, you pray, you pray, seek the face of God. Then you now begin the meeting. You get your elders and even those you are you set the, the panel you are, you are setting. Make sure that they are prayerful. And not every so even even in prayer, in prayer team. We have most of them to in prayer teams. <laughs> it's a very serious thing to deal with in the church. But in the prayer team, those who are humble, those who have true love, who are loyal, mm -hmm, those ones that can be, who have the true love, and those who are what kind of or another character. There are some of them in the church who are who are who are, who are humble, that doesn't you know, not they don't act, they don't argue. Too much. They are, they are ready. They are ready to go with you, and they are ready to to not um, to not allow to not allow their self, the self, self centeredness to to be to be on the way. Hallelujah! But in everything, just pray. Just pray very well, and the Lord will deliver. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and this very set of. Uh, you know, issues you need someone who is very, very assertive. You need to say something and stand in it. Most time after meeting, in this kind of situation, after meeting with them, the Jezebel, those who probably the Lord have shown or oh, there's a problem, they always know, always want to go, go behind, call other people and now form a team or form another one voice. That will be gathering against you. This pastor will call you. That brother will call you. That sister will call you. And so we start all of them are pointing towards the same thing. Trying to let you know that the decision is not right. Don't, don't take it. Don't do that you want to do. Total is manipulation. It's a network of wickedness. Don't mind them. All of them are the same clip. But the thing there is when you stand in the way of God. And able to disengage them. And be able to overcome them. We see massive sort, but, but the, before the enemy will give you that fear that they are the pillar of your ministry, they're your pillar of your church. That if you do that, your church is going to scatter its lies. They are suppressing the church growth. They are suppressing a lot of things in the in the ministry. Hallelujah! Get them out. Then you now see that growth. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Most of the church, you know, that suffers a lot in the area of growth, or where we see frequent death, they are the one that is causing it. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 
But the thing there is this, in everything you do, as Bible has already said it to you and I, in, in everything we do, if you do, if you, if you, without love, whatever you're doing is in vain, it doesn't really hold the sight of God. You still love them. You're, you're, you're trying to correct such this, this set of people. You're not correcting them in order to punish them, you have to humiliate them. But you're correcting them in love to, to get them out because they don't, they seem not to understand that they are actually destroying their fellow. Imagine here, Bible says that they are able to eat food, you know, the food sacrificed to idol. They are promoting sexual immoralities in the church and making people to, you know, teaching people deep things of Satan. In the process, you let them, you, 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 you treat them with this understanding. That you try to save, you are helping them out from that negative things. You are helping them, and not only them, the the the, the congregation who 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 have submitted themselves under their teaching and under their prophecy, now to help to deliver the Church of Christ from such kind of uh, derailment, highly of their teachings and all that. You are doing it for, for God, for them too, and for their own family, and for their future too. So that, like now, Bible said that, but God said that I will throw her to where? To the sick bed. I mean, God will afflict her himself if he refuse to repent. The way you are dealing with this thing, dealing with love, and God help to deliver her. You are delivering her from sickness. You are delivering her from disease. You are delivering her from all those evil that she's been doing or he. You are delivering them from them so that God can save that soul also. Because the Bible says, God said, I gave her time to repent. God, God is interested to see her prosper. To see her blessed. To see them become something in life. God has a plan too for, for this, this very person. God has a plan for their life. God love them also. Then therefore, that if you're a leader and you're dealing with this kind of issues, you deal with it what? With love. But you need to be assertive. Just like you having a, your, your, your stubborn child. Bible says you should discipline. If you spare rod from your child, you go to destroy that child. See them too as your child. Don't spare them. Give them the punishment that is due when you discover anything. Let them know that in the process you are delivering them from disaster in the future. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus, let the, the Lord help, help us in the name of Jesus. Fill us with the Spirit and give us wisdom and knowledge to tackle all these kind of issues that surround the Church of Christ and surround our community and surround our political settings also in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The word of God said, verse 25, only hold fast what you have until I come. The one who conquer and who keep my work until the end, to him I will give authority over nations and he will rule with them with a rod of iron as he Sorry, as when eating pots are broken in pieces, even as I myself have received authority from the Father, and I will give him the morning star, and he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, there's the reason why, no matter whatever anybody is teaching you, both in church and the pastors or whatever, you reading the Bible, allowing the Bible to help you, to direct you, to guide you, is always, you know, very, 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 very important. And because sometimes we can miss or we can, we can, we can, we can be distracted. We can be distracted. Imagine somebody now who is filled with the Spirit of God now 
probably this very uh, this bell's uh, uh, possessed person you don't know that they yeah, now give you something to eat or just do some witchcraft thing to you then you now go to the altar and begin to preach the process of preaching they can control your message yeah they can control you what you preach and make you some truth that you want to say those truths will be missing you stand you know you want to say something you can't remember again you want to do something you forget the control and yeah. then when any of us when the pastor or whatever whoever who is teaching have preached and all that you go back to that word of god and ask the holy spirit to, to help you further then you read the holy spirit of law can help you to bring back those things that the pastor forgets that supposed to have given and he forgot because of what and that's the reason why when you are in a leadership position just as you know, the speaker was talking to us yesterday morning or this this morning we are soldiers of christ you don't mingle with this with the civilian things that separation is needed as a leader you don't eat anyhow as a leader it don't it's not every you don't visit anyhow Hallelujah. keep yourself separate because you need it to be able to operate with clarity because when you begin to go very close to them all this you know you know in the process sometimes you want to do something or want to say something and you now remember some things that are associated with them you want to say you now look as if you want you're going to discuss or want to talk about them and because of that closeness you will now begin to you will not be able to be straightforward and this person is the person who gives you money and help you so many buy everything you have in the house is the one that bought it you see it's so difficult that is why you separate even if you may not have a more much be contented with what you have Sweet of contentment will help you. Seriously, as a leader. You want to be into envy and be into jealousy. Jealous. Oh, this one is riding a good car. And as a pastor, you don't have a kind of car he has. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't live in the, your house is not so pretty or so big. Or so, you know, beautiful like somebody's own car. You begin to jealous them. And the point is begin to draw closer. They begin to know what you want. They will buy that car for you. Get you a house that looks like theirs. You are indirectly exchanging your ministry, your position. That spirit of contentment is very, very, very important in ministry. Or else you keep compromising everything. And the process is, is, your, is yourself you're doing. But may God help us in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want us to begin to pray and ask the Lord, please, Lord, have mercy on us. All the way we have sinned against you. All the way we allow this wicked spirit to come into our life and begin to destroy the plan and the purpose of God for our life. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Deliver your children. Deliver us. Deliver me. Deliver us in the name of Jesus. 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 My son, the real bush take care. Father, deliver us, O Lord. In the name of let every damage that this very spirit have caused. Father, Lord, let your spirit, O Lord, just of revival. Let your quickening spirit. Let your spirit, O Lord Jesus, come down. In the name of Jesus, and begin to maratire. Begin to repair. In the name of Jesus, begin to wither. Begin to uproot all the all the rooted wickedness of these very spirits manipulations in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus master your word said that satan has come to kill to see to destroy everything that that spirit have come to kill to see to destroy master broke it was scatter in the name of jesus father lord let the life that you have come to give us in the name of you begin to take over in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord this hour in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray as the Lord. Please, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me all my sins. 
come into my life and take care of everything that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And I repeat this word with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this hour. Please forgive me. Cleanse me in the name of Jesus. I yield myself to the Holy Spirit. Anyhow, the spirit of pride is in me. Anyhow, the spirit of arrogance is in me. Father, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me, Lord Jesus. I will put every spirit of pride, every spirit of pride, every spirit of Jezebel in me that I don't know. Father, Lord Jesus, let it be uprooted. Uproot, oh Lord. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Wash me, Lord, with your precious blood. In the name of Jesus. Let every seed of Jezebel be growing in me. In the name of Jesus. Be terminated. Be, be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I give you my life this morning. This hour. I give you my spirit to somebody. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. And rose again to give me life. Father, Lord, take charge. In the name of Jesus. And this morning, I dedicate myself to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to go again what we did last night. Hallelujah. We need to do our, our Bible reading. Although a lot of time is gone already. We're going to play it again so it can be just straight away. So we don't start another preaching in the process of reading. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 23, 91, 59, 144, and 124. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, read through us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 23, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen and amen. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 59. Amen. To the choir master, according to Do Not Destroy, a victim of David, amen. when Saul sent men to watch his house in order to kill him. 
Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Fierce men stir up strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord, for no fault of mine, they run and make ready. Awake, come to meet me and see. You, Lord God of hosts, are God of Israel. Rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Spare none of those who treacherously plot evil. Amen. Psalm 144 of David. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-stringed harp I will play to you, who gives victory to kings, who rescues David his servant from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars, cut for the structure of a palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Amen, Jesus. Psalm 124, a song of ascents. Of David. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the flood would have swept us away, the torrent would have gone over us, then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight, the Lord. We give you glory, we give you glory. For delivering us, for delivering us, delivering us from every evil. Delivering, oh Lord Jesus, time with Jesus Christ's ministry. Delivering ICC, delivering United Kingdom, delivering Biafra, delivering MAK, Hallelujah, delivering the Lord Jesus, Hallelujah, Israel, in Judah, our countries, delivering us all, oh Lord, with our families, oh Lord Jesus, our countries, our community. Thank you for delivering us from every evil. If you have not been by our side, where would you have been? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name for all that you have done. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord bless you, protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. Hallelujah. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you all and have a fantastic night rest. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord fight every of your, every of your secret battles. May the Lord fight our secret battles and give us peace in Jesus' name. And I pray as we go to our various work tomorrow, in the name of your success and success, God's protection and love will be strong in our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Love you all. 
Shout out to you all in Jesus' name.